while I was gone, I just added the fields, which uh, which is the teacher's first name, a text box for text box for teacher's last name, and I gave uh, a unique ID to each text box, the class to which which the teacher teaches, a button with an I a unique ID of BTN add teachers, as well as a label with a unique ID, and I erased the text value from this label. Well, let's go back to the VB code and we're gonna do that and we're gonna add some code to the this button event. So this is this is for the button add teacher and an on the click event. So what we need to do again is do the same thing we did for the student we're gonna have to do for the teacher. So we start by creating an adapter uh, for the teachers the uh, table adapter and the SXD so we write dim teachers adapter as new that is set one table adapters that teacher teachers table adapter and then we're gonna write teachers adapter that insert and then we're gonna have to give the arguments for each of the fields and the first argument is of course the first name and that's going to be txt bx teachers first that text and that is the unique ID I gave for that uh, text box and then we do a comma and the last name equals to txt bx teachers last that text and then we're going to add a class I don't know why it added those um, brackets there but it's going to be equal to txt txtbx class that text and we're just gonna close off the parentheses okay great and the last thing we need to do is to give some text to the teacher added label that text teacher uh, lbl teacher added that text equals to and I'm gonna write a message and the message is going to be teacher added successfully now everything looks a-okay now let's give this a shot Bob Gates class math let's add the teacher see the teacher was added successfully however we don't see it in the teacher's name and we should get Bob Gates in the teacher's name here and the reason why that didn't happen is because we didn't add one small piece of code in the VB. Now, in order to make sure that this uh, that the newly added teacher shows up in the dropdown uh, for the students form, I would normally tell you to add this code at the end of the button click. The problem is with ASP page cycle is that the button click event actually happens after the the page fully loads so in order to make sure that it shows up we're gonna need to add this code in a page events and I'm gonna add it to the pre load event pre actually pre render event so what we're gonna do is the following we're gonna write if is post back which means that uh, the pay uh, some button was clicked on the page and in our case is the button for adding the teacher then DDL that teachers and the DL teachers full name that data bind and this should make the ad newly added teacher show up in the drop down for the students form and let's give it a shot so let's add a new teacher and the teacher is gonna have my first and full name and the class is gonna be asp.net and this should show up in this drop down so let's see. Add teacher, teacher added successfully, and I'm here. Bark Cypher is here. Thanks so much for watching. This is the end of part three, and in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a grid view uh, for uh, viewing these records and editing them as well.